Shalom family, good morning to you, um, it's me once again, another topic, another revelation I believe will help us all, I believe will edify the body of Yahushua in this end time and uh, I'm going to go straight into it, hopefully I can get into it and, and, and finish off um, very very quick. Turn your Bibles with me to the book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 35 Matthew chapter 24 verse 35 and I read heaven and earth will pass away but my word will never pass away heaven and earth will pass away but my word will never pass away this was the scripture for my meditation this morning actually from last night and um, I've come across some some powerful revelation in this particular passage or particular scripture that I think you should know so begin with we need to find out what he's referring to when he said my word what word is he talking about? And the answer to this is found in the book of John chapter 17 verse 17. John 17, uh, John 17, 17 and I read. This is Yahushua praying. He said, sanctify or set them apart by the truth. Your word is truth. Sancti sanctify them by the truth your word my heavenly father is true so the word he is talking about here in Matthew 24 verse 33 is what is never ever going to pass away and that we found out in John chapter 17 verse 17 as the word of truth the word of our heavenly father is the word of truth and so everything shall pass away but the word that came out of the mouth of Yahuwah our heavenly father which is the word of truth shall not pass away and then it got deeper than that I was left to ask myself the question so if the word of truth never passed away what becomes of all the things that were created out of the word of truth you remember scripture says we should bear fruit unto eternity and the only way we can bear fruit unto eternity is where is is whereby we are walking in the spirit or in the word of truth so what happens to all the things that were created out of the word of truth And this is where I came to find out that everything that is created out of the word of truth, which is eternal, the word of truth is eternal, and that which it, uh, the word of truth begets or begets is also eternal. And so heaven and earth, which, were, which came out of the word of truth in the beginning, is really not going to pass away. But everything that is created whether whether it is in heaven or whether it is on earth that is not according to the word of truth that is not by the word of truth and that is not from the word of truth is that which will pass away you see we are living in a world where there are so many things that are fake even human beings so so many of us walking the face of the of this earth are not real There are those that are, are coming out. There are those that came from the word of truth. The true human beings that follow the ordinances of creation. And there are also those that are created outside the word of truth in opposition to the word of truth. Those are the ones that are going to perish and those are the ones that are going to be destroyed and those are the ones that are going to pass away. There is no eternity 
for those. So let's say everything becomes destroyed. Everything passes away. But the word of truth is not passing away. Don't you think the same word of truth can recreate all that it created before again? That is to mean that anything that he did not create or anything that was created not out of him. And you need to understand that there are so many things that has been created on the face of this earth that is not out of the word of truth. Because if it is out of the word of truth, it will follow the ordinances that the word of truth has put in place here on earth. So anything that is contrary to the way of the word of truth, the word of truth is also the way. He is the truth and he is the life. So if you are not pursuing and if you are not living your life or if you are not bearing fruit or creating out of the ordinances of, of, of the word of truth or our heavenly father, then whatever it is that you create shall pass away. So it becomes very important that you and I pursue the word of truth and pursue the spirit of truth. And the only word of truth we have by which all things were created the bible says in john chapter 1 verse 1 that nothing was made that is made without the word of truth and so until we pursue the word of truth and walk in the word of truth and bear fruit in the word of truth we will pass away everything that we beget will pass away Let me bring it home. They are even creating robotic human beings. They are even, you know, they are even allowing men, women, to become men and then use uh, 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 their, 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 their womb, although they look men, they have been uh, they have been injected with hormones that makes them look like men and then they, the same people will use their womb to carry babies and it is so disgusting that you see a man with a belly and give him birth on top of it these are not according to the word of truth these are not according to the will of our heavenly father and the will of our heavenly father is the word of truth so if you are living not according to the word of truth you shall pass away if you were if you were created not according to the word of truth you shall pass away the bible says he knew you even before you were born even when you you were in your mother's womb he formed you and knew you and it is in our mother's womb that we became we become males or females so if the father knows you as male even when you were in your mother's womb and you come into this world and you feel you claim to feel like like a woman in your body trapped in the, in the body of a man that is not how the father sees you the father sees you as a man that is why he gave you a male reproductive organ the father sees you as a woman that he that is why he gave you a female reproductive organ so if you are feeling like you are a female trapped in the body of a male you should understand that you are operating out of the norm out of the will of the father this is not for us to support you and clap for you and cheer you on to change your gender in pursuit of, of what you feel inside you see these people are so powerful they are so powerful in manipulating even the way you think they are injecting our food and chemicalizing all everything around us look into chemtrails they are putting so much junk into us that had it not been the mercies of our heavenly father we would have all, all be, be we, we would have been turned to something else and so if you are a male and you are feeling like a female trapped in a male body seek help do not seek 
to 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 change how the father formed you or 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 the gender the father made you to be into becoming something else in opposition to what he made you to be so everything that is not in line with the word of truth shall pass away there is no future for it there is no eternity for it this is the message that was laid upon my heart since last night all things shall pass away the heaven and the earth shall pass away not necessarily the heaven and the earth as it was created out of the word of truth but all that is created in the heavens which is not in the word of truth all that is created on the earth which is not according to the word of truth they shall all pass away and we saw that in heaven with Hashatan, Satan you see he, he became cast out of heaven because he became the word of falsehood if we have the word of truth then we have we also have the word the word of falsehood he became the word of falsehood he became in opposition to the word of truth in heaven and guess what happened he became passed away in heaven he was cast out of heaven and the same process when we pray he said when you pray say may your kingdom come and your will be done as it is in where in heaven what happened in heaven is also going to happen here anything that is not in accordance with the word of truth anything that stands in opposition to the word of truth shall pass away that is why personally for me religion has passed away religion has passed away because religion is not according to the word of truth as was handed to us by our heavenly father through our mashiach yahushua religion is 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 a creation of men the few so that the few will control the masses that is what that is all that it is religion is a control mechanism to control the masses at the benefit of the few this is why religion pass, has passed away for me because religion is not according to the word of truth and so this is what life is all about so that we will shed off our skin just as the snake is uh, as I taught before the snake keeps shedding off his skin that anything that is not beneficial anything that does not allow it to be the real it it shares off it, sh it is shed off so are we to be we need to shed off everything that is covering us that are, are not making us or are not supporting us become who we really are we need to share them off and like I always say naked we came into this world and naked must we return I came into this world without a religion and I must return to where I came from without a religion okay anything that is not according to the word of truth must be shared away so that I can return with my authentic self because if I put anything on me that is not authentic that is not according to the word of truth then I am going to perish with it. I am going to pass away with it. But it's my responsibility to make sure that I seek and search for the truth so that I will walk in the truth and become the truth. Whereby I and the truth become one. And that means becoming my authentic self. That is the only way I can return to my source where I came from. And so all things shall pass away by my truth. The word, the word of truth shall never pass away. I have an appointment this evening with um, these uh, two people from, from uh, the Church of Jesus, Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I have an appointment to see them today because they, they want to talk to me. I met them at the library and um, they were asking me where am I going to go to if I if I die and all that and I'm like I don't believe in God quote and unquote God 
I believe in my heavenly father by his name, but I don't believe in God because my heavenly father is not by that name. My heavenly father is not God. So I don't believe in God. And they, don't, they didn't understand. They were like, whoa, that's, that's quite strange. And I tried to explain to them, but you know, they are from from a place where you know their mind has been so uh, uh, you know their mind has been so um programmed not to accept anything else but you know that which they have been fed with so um they said they're going to meet me today and then we can take it further and one of them pulled out a chocolate bar and a revelation came out from there i hope they accept that revelation at least because they are not going to be the ones teaching me because I've been where they are. Rather, I have to be the one teaching them because I have been where they are. So one of them pulled out the chocolate bar and said, you know what? We understand what you're saying. You've been through things and all that. But I'm holding something here that is so sweet. It's so nice. I love chocolate. And this chocolate is so good. And I'm explaining to you how sweet and how lovely it is. But how are you going to know what I'm saying is true unless you eat it so you have to taste it and eat it to know what I'm saying is true so I'm going to pass you a piece of the chocolate for you to taste it and then you tell me if I, what I'm saying is true or not so she was using that analogy to tell me that um, you know they have something better that they can, they can bring me in that will transform my life and so I said to them, actually one of them asked me, where are you from? And I said, I'm, I'm from Ghana. And then I said to them, that you know what you just did? I hope you catch the revelation of this because I'm from Ghana. And Ghana is known for its cocoa production, the main ingredient of making chocolate. So it's not you to tell me about chocolate. I was born into it. I haven't just eaten chocolate, which they've mixed it with so many other things, chemicals and whatever. I have eaten the cocoa pot itself. And I can testify that it's one of the most sweetest, most sweetest juices, fruity juices there is. I'm sure you haven't eaten that before. He said no. So I said to her, you see, you want to tell me how sweet chocolate is. But I know it already. I can take you even further. So I'm hoping that tonight, if only they will allow themselves, I'm hoping that I will end up teaching them, letting them know the truth that I have come to know. They gave me, um, they gave me their Bible. He said it's written uh, the Testament of. Um, and Joseph Smith, that's the founder of, of Mormons, the Mormons Church. And you see, I don't even need to go further than that. Why? Because, um, you know, Apostle Shaul or one of the apostles said, if anyone comes preaching a different good news, a different message which our Mashiach gave us, anything different from, from that, anyone that comes and preaches such a, such a different message must be accursed. So I don't even need to waste time, but I, 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 I should meet them and, and see what the Ruach HaKadosh has for them. If they are of the children of light, they will connect. If they are not, they are not the ones to teach me because I've been where they are. I've done what they are doing. Okay, so um, I'll fill you in whatever happens uh, in that meeting and um, I'll leave this one right here. Uh, remember that all things shall pass away but the word of truth shall never pass away pursue truth pursue the word of truth and the word of truth is the word that came out that proceeded out of the mouth of our heavenly father yahuwah so the word that is from yahuwah is the word of truth it's not the word from god it's not the word from the lord it's not the word from even jesus but the word of yahuwah is the word of truth and that is what is never going to pass away. So until I see you again, hopefully again soon, have a wonderful day and shalom.